The Olympus EPL1 that we're using features a 12.3 megapixel image sensor. With an image sensor this large, you'll be able to make large quality prints when shooting in the camera's highest resolution. Your camera has multiple autofocus targets that ensure you'll achieve great focus on your images. The camera also has a large LCD display for viewing your images and settings. The Olympus pen cameras also allow you to shoot HD movies along with sound. To get your camera ready for picture taking, you'll need to do a few things first. You'll need to charge and insert the battery, install the memory card, format the memory card, and learn how to install a lens. Your camera comes with a rechargeable battery. This battery can be recharged and reused many times. We'll show you how we charge the EPL-1. Your model may vary. To charge the battery, plug the AC adapter plug into the charger and then plug the power cord into the wall jack. Insert the battery into the charger with the contacts down and the arrow facing up. A small amber light will glow while the battery is charging. It will take about 3 hours and 30 minutes to charge a fully depleted battery. With our charger, a blue light indicates a full charge. To insert the battery, we make sure the camera is turned off and open the compartment cover. Insert the battery with the contacts in first and facing the front of the camera. Make sure the arrow is facing the back of the camera. To remove the battery, push the battery lock knob and the battery will be released. Make sure to close the compartment cover. When you take pictures, valuable information is recorded along with the images, like the date and the time. To set the date and the time on the EPL-1, we press the menu button. Go to the Setup tab, indicated with a wrench icon. Select the icon that looks like a clock and use the arrow keys to change the settings. Press the Start OK button to confirm and the Menu button to exit the menus. Check your owner's manual for specific instructions for your camera. To insert the SD or SDHC memory card into our EPL-1, we'll make sure the camera is turned off. We open the same compartment cover that houses the battery. The card needs to be inserted in a specific way. Make sure you check your owner's manual. With our camera, the card goes in with the contacts first and the manufacturer's label facing the front of the camera. The card will click into place. To remove the card, simply press it lightly and it will eject. Do not remove the card while the card write indicator is lit. If this is the first time you've used the card or you've previously formatted the card in a different device, you should reformat the card. Reformatting the card erases all of the stored data and ensures it will operate more quickly. It's a good idea to periodically reformat the card if you notice the camera takes extra time to access the memory. To format your memory card, turn the camera on, Press the menu button and use the up and down arrow buttons to select the shooting one tab, indicated with a camera icon and the number one. Select card setup, select format, and select yes. Then press the start OK button to confirm that choice. Do not remove the memory card or turn the power off while formatting. To attach a lens, make sure the camera is turned off. Remove the caps from the camera body and the lens. Line up the red attachment mark on the camera with the red mark on the lens. Insert the lens and turn it gently clockwise until it clicks into place. When you want to remove a lens, press the lens release button while holding the camera with the same hand. And then with the other hand, rotate the lens counterclockwise until it uncouples. Do not force the lens. Doing so could damage the lens and the camera. Try not to change lenses in windy or dusty conditions. This will help the image sensor stay clean and free of dust. You have the ability to attach different lenses to your pen camera. Be sure you're using lenses with a micro four-thirds mount. You can use other types of lenses, but they will require an adapter. Be sure to consult your owner's manual.